it's Molly. I'm here in Florida. Woohoo! All right, here. Let's do. Let's see who this reading is for. Capricorn, this is for you, Cappy. Uh huh. What's up, Capricorn? Capricorn, we got the rock star deck. Yeah. What we got in the sweat? The hermit with the seven of swords. All right. Somebody may have been sitting back. Yeah, watching a whole bunch of liars. Yeah, deceitful action. Uh huh. They may have identified it. Devil energy. Uh huh. Okay. Let's hear about it. Whoa. Okay. We have the Empress and the Queen of Wands. All right. Somebody may have seen a bitch treat an Empress totally bad. Yeah. This is the Empress. Yep. She don't care how crusty you are. Nope. She goes down into the gates of hell. She's a dragon slayer. Yep. Gets you when you're brand new. Zero. Yeah. People may have had brutal spiritual awakenings. Yeah, they send in her, the Dragon Slayer Empress, to come and get you, help you ascend up. All right. We may have, yeah. Now, when this first popped, yeah, uh huh. May have kind of a bitchy person keeping their eye on her. Yeah, they may be jealous of her artistic abilities, something like that. She's very artistic herself, and she's ascended up. But she goes down and helps people who she knows. Yeah, need to send up themselves. So this is a spiritual leader, all right? And an empress. We have to remember the empress cares about their community. Yeah, an empress would never leave another empress stuck in a crevasse, ever. No. I have gathered the troops, all right? Let's hear more about the empress. This artistic, passionate, exciting person. Girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used or enable boundaries. Yeah, this person, this empress might teach people about the empath narcissist dynamic, might help he people heal super fast. We have to remember with knowledge comes freedom. Yeah, and so this is some form of teacher, all right? Not enough. Yeah, it's to help people who uh, may suffer from imposter syndrome, uh, to sh show you you absolutely are enough. You are a smoking hot cutie pie, darling. All right, let's see what Gravini messages have to say. A mural may mean something. All right, work. Yeah, let's work together, dudes. Yeah, they found who they want to work with, this empress. Let's hear about the Divine Feminine Showgirl energy. Tell us about this empress. Queen of Wands, yeah. Okay, it could be Taurus or Libra energy. Yeah, centering. Yeah, Spirit sent this person in, yeah, to help center these people. These are top tier light workers, yeah, that needed to be reminded who the fuck they were. Yeah. These may have been mortified emperors, yeah, who dealt with a girl with a snake. Yeah, it might have been a little reviving version of this empress. Okay, something like that. Somebody very similar, yeah, but they vibe low. Yeah, so Spirit sent in the true empress. Yeah. And expose the girl with the snake. All right. Let's hear about past life. What does past life have to say to Capricorn? Past life energy? The arts, yes. Now let's remember the arts are what's going to heal everybody now. Mm hmm. Yeah, music, the arts, entertainment, uh, technology, video games. All sorts of things like that is coming in to heal. Yeah, we have to remember the arts, uh, music, uh, art therapy. Mm hmm. This is a very artistic person. All right. It's the quickest way to heal. Mm hmm. A guitar might mean something, a piano might mean something. All right. I see this again. Work together. Somebody may want to do a duet with the Empress. Okay. What does Divine Feminine Energy have to say as Capricorn? Oh, two. One flipped and one popped. A blessing is headed my way. And I deserve people in my life who don't have misconceptions about me. All right. What does Divine Masculine Energy have to say? You are my favorite daydream. 
right. I hear, well, darling, it's time to make your daydream a reality. All right, well, let's hear it. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. All right, so this is working together, Master and Apprentice style. This Empress has things that this Emperor can learn from, from her, and this Emperor, this Empress has things she can learn from her Emperor, yes. And this is somebody that you feel absolutely super calm, excited around. It's like you know this person because it's a Six of Cups relationship. So our Six of Cups relationships, you guys, are people from your past, from a past life, uh, could be from your past, uh, in this lifetime, whatever it is, it's somebody that immediately when you're around, they're a real person. Yeah, they make you feel good. You recognize them. You're like, hey, I vibe with you. Uh, you know that Six of Cups relationship is when you meet somebody right away and you're like, I feel like I know you. You're a cool motherfucker. Yeah, spirit sending that in because you guys are supposed to work together. All right, there you go, Capricorn. There's your message. Peace out. Love ya.